Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to put movies onto your desktop or mp3 player or iPod. Okay, so first you're going to need to download three programs. DVD Decryptor, DVD Shrink 3.2, and Handbrake. Just, okay, so just open up the internet. Let's just load. Okay, now I'll just type in a uh, DVD decryptor. Oh, this computer's slow right now. Okay, now it's gonna be the, the Mr. Bass one. Okay, right there. Click on that one right there. Okay, now DVD shrink. Okay, it's going to be the Mr. Bass one too. Now this one only lasts like four days, so I just have to download it again after four days. I don't know why, but it just does that. Okay, now it's gonna be just choose which one. I recommend English because you know it's America. Okay, you got that downloaded. Then you're gonna do Handbrake. Okay, so me handbrake. Oh, it's computer. Okay, handbrake. That fr. Make sure it's fr. And click on that. Okay, and then you're gonna download it now. Now, depending on your computer, if you have Mac or whatever you call it, Windows. I have Windows, so that this would be mine. But if you have a Mac, you have to make sure you download the right one. If you don't, then it won't work. So just make sure you know which one you have. Exit out of this. Okay, now put your DVD in. <clears throat> and when you do, DVD decryptor should come up. takes like 20 seconds for it to come up but yeah right there okay um so you just go to mode iso and read okay then you choose this folder choose wherever you want it to save i've i've already done this it's right there so just choose name it whatever you want and then once you have it where it's where you want it to be saved just save this Depending on your computer, it should. For me, it takes like 30 minutes. But for some of the people, if your computer's slow, it might take like 30 minutes or like for like an hour it should take. Okay, then once that's done, then I wanna close that. Okay, then you wanna open up DVD Shrink. What DVD Shrink does is it makes your DVD into smaller. Like my movie, it's 4.3 something gigs, and if I do this, it should shrink it down to at least like maybe like one. So you go file, open disk image. Now find wherever you save that. I save mine onto my desktop. So yes, so 4.16 gigabytes. Open that up, and it should do this real fast. Okay, now you're gonna want to go to reauthor. 
and make sure you now go to main movie drag it over here compression settings want to get okay for sometimes this won't be a hundred percent what you're you, you're gonna want to do is just unclick all these ones that you don't need and then you're gonna want to go to backup and then sometimes this won't say ISO so you're gonna want to do that oh, crap sorry about that okay then select image now it selects where you want it to save I'm gonna do mine to my desktop again but I'm gonna rename it to like two okay right there save it okay and this sh takes a while so I'm gonna pause the video and so save you some time okay now when the o encoding is done it takes usually about like eight minutes so when this is done okay this should pop up it's just okay and um, now you're done so just exit out of that now open up handbrake okay now when, once this is open go to source video file and then go to wherever you say that I say mine to my desktop so now I gotta find it where do I put it okay there now it says 3.8 gigs but I don't know why it does that but it usually does one one gig to like one one and a half gigs so that's usually what it takes away so then just click on this one here's the one that I put into DVD shrink and it's gonna scan it <coughs> just press ok if that pops up ok then press browse and then do wherever you want to save I, I always do desktop because it's easy to find for like this but if I but if I when I put into uh, handbrake I always do my movies on my desktop just make a folder name my movies it's easy access see these movies are done now I just name it whatever you want I'm gonna name mine um, dumb and dumber Okay, and then press save. Okay. Now you can mess around with all these if you want. I know. Okay. Now these are important. If you want to put it onto your like iPod, iPad, iPhone, i anything. Do or even your PSP, Xbox 360, PS3, just click universal. Yeah. Okay, now make sure you choose university one on your iPod or anything. Okay. So then to just press start. Now this usually takes like as long as the movie d does. Okay. Takes about like an hour and oh right there an hour and thirty six minutes left forty two. Okay, right there. Okay. Now. Once this is done, you go to your desktop. Where's my movies? My movies. Where'd I put it? Oh, right there. My movies. Open it up. And that's what it looks like when it's encoding, but when it's done, it should have like the first image of the movie like these do and then you just open up iTunes if you want on your iPod drag it in and sync it and it should be all good so it's on there 
Okay, so and that is how to put movies onto your laptop, computer, iPod, MP3, or anything. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And uh, bye.